Hey, it's gonna be tough to get that performance bonus now. These two, they put on a show. Yeah, was that crazy? They only had three rounds though. You're the main event. You got five rounds to put on a show. Guess we ended early. I'm ready for whatever. Prepare for the worst, expect the best, right? Damn right. All right, then let's go. Let's do this. Let's get it. Yeah! Prelims no more. Here he is making his way to the Octagon. This is the first time in his UFC career he has worked his way to the main card. He has strung together some wins. Looking at the rankings, and this guy appears like he belongs. A lot more eyeballs on him tonight. The audience is bigger. His popularity has grown leaps and bounds. We'll see if he can handle that pressure and perform the way he has that led to this main card slot here tonight. All right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter. It certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man, and even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. prospect as there is in mixed martial arts at present. Enter the undefeated future Ian Machado Garrett. Cardio is his best weapon. He hasn't even had to use it necessarily in realizing all of this UFC success thus far. Tremendous long range weapons, underrated in the clinch, underrated as a grappler. But I guess for me, it's the appetite for knowledge that really jumps out of the fighter meeting. This man has traveled the world in search of different mixed martial arts skills and now training under the watchful eye of Diego Lima at Shootbox in Brazil. We'll see if Ian Machado Garrett can take his career to that requisite next level here tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them Ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. All right, here now the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Scott! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the future, Ian Machado Garrett! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go, early round one, and as many of you know, this is his first time on the main card. He's been a prelim machine throughout his UFC. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Dean steps in. Wow. Wow. What a fight. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Scott. 
So first main card fight for him and one of the better performances of his UFC tenure as he celebrates there with his coaches. His team believed as the fights got bigger and the stakes got higher, his performances would get even better. That is exactly the way it played out here in this one. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Vicente the Silent Assassin, Luke And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Scott! Ready to fight? Ready. Well, after a big win by TKO his last time out, this man has returned. So much momentum, a lot of and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. To his feet. Luke is bleeding from the Oh, big shots raining down. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying. But he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing what would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year in a very long time i have not seen someone look this good he promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout <laughs> We go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Scott! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.
our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Lee the Leech King Leon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Scott! You ready? You ready? Go All right, ready to go for round one, and it's hard not to harken back to his last appearance. A huge knockout victory for him that set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. He is more popular than ever after a big knockout win his last time out. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. Nice straight right hand. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Leading with that right punch. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed in place there. And a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Big shot lands for both guys. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Big power shot there. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. Might want to employ a high... <laughs> in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. for the official decision Bruce Buffer has. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Scott! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party time. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. 